if you are a homeschooling parent and there are some concepts that you're having difficulty teaching to your child, this video is for you. This video will share with you certain techniques that you can use to understand the lesson itself first and then you'll be able to share it with your homeschooled child. Welcome to Ruth Straight Talk, the channel designed to help you, your students and your children live fuller lives, become lifelong learners and grow into the awesome human beings you were designed to be. I'm Cynthia Ruth. So if this video is for you, welcome aboard. Let's get right to it. You are homeschooling your child, but there are certain concepts that you just can't seem to get over to them. Keep in mind, however, that you only get one opportunity to make a first impression. And your child, your student, will take his or her cues from you. If you appear to be confused, they will be confused. If your attitude is, this is too hard to do, that is exactly how they will feel about the subject matter. So it is important for you to master this concept before presenting it to your child, your homeschool student. The first step in preparing that lesson is to make sure that you master the concept yourself first of all. Some ways to do that is to do research, go to Discovery Channel, go to Google Learns, and there are several other websites that can help you master that concept. In that area of mastering the concept, what you want to do is write down as many questions as you possibly could have from that lesson. Anticipate what your student will ask and then find the answer. Make sure that you have a complete answer to satisfy the student's needs. The next step is to simplify the lesson. The more complex the concept, the more simplified that concept need to be. Breaking it down into small bite-sized pieces will help your student to avoid being overwhelmed by that concept. This may take a couple of days. You may want to break it down into many different lessons. Your first lesson may just be an overview and probably a hook, but if you take your time, do it slowly at a pace that your student understands and is able to handle, you will find it's well worth the time and the effort you put into that concept. So what is a hook? A hook can be many different things. It can be a story, it could be a video, it could be a joke, it could be a question. A hook is something that piques the student's interest, so it must be something that they're familiar with, but something that they should, might, or possibly want to know more about. For example, if you're teaching the student about centripetal force, you might want to ask them, what feeling do you get when you're riding a carousel. That could be a very simple hook because the carousel is something that the student is familiar with and probably needs to know more about. This brings us to the next point, helping the student make a connection with the new material. The human brain is such that it looks for some connection in the past that will allow them to form a bridge towards the new material. This is where the hook comes in. The hook allows the student to go to material that they already know and find a bridge or a connection with the new material. One thing about a hook that is very important, especially when you want your child to remember this lesson, is to form an emotional hook. When a child or any learner experiences a strong emotion with the hook, they're not likely to forget that lesson anytime soon. The next step is to apply the new concept to a totally different scenario. 
This will help your student to expand beyond what you have taught him or her into a new area that she can see or he can see how that concept may be applied. For example, you could use a skit. You could use um, a class project. You could build a carousel and show um, maybe a model of a carousel and show the student how it can be done and how it can be used. This will help them not only expand on what they've learned about the concept, but it will also help them to remember it. The last step is to brag about the student's success. If they've completed an assignment or an activity or a project, display it where everyone can see. Draw people's attention to how well that the student did. This will bring such joy and a sense of accomplishment to the student. They will be eager to understand or to get involved with other very difficult subjects. You will let them know that nothing is too difficult for them once they've set their mind to it. If this video has helped you, please leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you have a story, a tip, a strategy, a question, or just some advice that you would like me to share with my audiences, please also leave me a comment at the bottom of the screen. Click on these videos above for more awesome information on education and parenting. Thank you so much for visiting with us at Ruth Straight Talk. Until next time, goodbye and happy learning.